Hey everyone, I'm Eva, a PM here at Retool. Multiplayer is great for building together quickly, but we also know it's important for teams to collaborate with more guardrails and to collaborate at scale. So we built source control into Retool. Developers can use a familiar Git-based flow to work on branches and review pull requests before rolling out changes. Since we first introduced source control, our builders have created more interconnected apps than ever before, as they're reusing components and code across their organizations. As a result, we've revamped source control so that related changes from different parts of Retool can be managed within a single branch. Now, when you open a branch on Retool, you can commit to that branch from any number of apps, modules, or library queries and you can easily see how those changes interact. This also means you can easily coordinate related changes since you'll only need one pull request. We're also introducing our new serialization format called ToolScript to represent retool apps. This will be a huge improvement for reviewers looking at changes in a pull request. We developed ToolScript with readability and succinctness in mind. Diffs are on average 80% shorter than they were before. Together, these features make collaboration in Retool easier than ever. Let's take a closer look at the new source control. So I'd like to add a new feature to the CRM app to make it easy to email our customers. Um, I see that since Sam um, and Jess last worked on this app, they added it to source control, which means that um, we can't edit directly on main. Uh, I'll have to create a new branch for my changes. So I want to add a way to email our contacts directly from this app. Um, and I know that we already have a module that we use um, to send emails. So let's see if I can leverage that. All right, this looks like a good starting point. Um, let me set up uh, the inputs to this module so that we have the right recipient. So grab that from the data table. All right, great. Um, my changes on this branch are saved as I make them. Uh, and when I'm ready, I can, um, I can put those changes into a commit. So let's say add email form here. So this looks useful so far, um, but we really should be able to write um, a subject line here and make it personalized. So let's go into the module to make that feature. Uh, to edit the module, uh, I see the option to continue on a recent branch uh, or create a new one. Uh, I want these module changes to be coordinated uh, together with my app changes, so I'll continue on the same branch. Great, now let's, um, let's add a field for that, um, let's add a field for that new subject line. All right, great. Um, and then let's update the query that we use to send this email. Um, so instead of hard coding this, we want to make it dynamic now. So let's grab um, the value from there. Okay, um, great. These look good to me. So let's commit these changes. Uh, and you can see in the branch menu here that um, I have changes from multiple places on this branch. So I've got uh, the changes that we made in the app, uh, and now I have my module changes there as well. And I can actually travel back to my app um, to review those earlier changes and see that the changes from the module are reflected here as well. Uh, so I'm ready to open a pull request now. So we can do that from the branch menu. Uh, and I can view the pull request on GitHub. And let's check out the um, underlying files here. So this is ToolScript that we're seeing uh, in the underlying files. Um, and as you can see, it's really easy to understand my changes um, here in the logic of the query. Um, and here's my uh, addition of that new input field um, in the module for the subject line. Um, as well as in the app, you can see that I've inserted the module here um, right below the table. Uh, so this would be really intuitive for a teammate to review. 
Um, and assuming we've done that, let's let's merge this. All right. All right. So going back to retool now, um, I can see that my changes uh, are live on main. Uh, and the module changes are also live there on main. So these two changes um, went live together. Source control was designed um, in a way that's familiar to developers uh, and helps teams collaborate with best practices. Uh, the flow that we saw here is available now for customers using GitHub uh, and we'll be extending it to other Git providers soon. <clears throat> 